There are a lot of those catchy tunes that stick in your mind. Some of them can be good songs, but you just can't lose them out of your brain. It takes forever to get rid of them. Jimmy Rhodes has a look at the science behind that music and what you can do about it. If you listen to a song and all of a sudden you find a place over and over in your head, chances are you may have encountered a sticky song, also known as an earworm. You might not know why that happened in the first place, and it might be difficult to dislodge. And turns out there's a science behind them. To help us understand it, we turn to Elizabeth Margulis, professor and director of the Music Cognition Lab at Princeton University. It really is something that lots and lots of people experience very frequently. First, let's take a look at the term coined by experts to define sticky songs, involuntary musical imagery. It's really indistinguishable with the term earworm. By musical imagery, you just mean the same way you'd think about visual imagery. So think about the song Hotel California. Welcome to the Hotel California. Right, you can kind of create a pretty vivid auditory image of that often. Meanwhile, the involuntary part explains how they appear out of nowhere, triggered by even simple things such as... Oh, there's a cute dog walking by me on the street. Now, who let the dogs out is stuck in my head. But not all songs stick. You'll find the ones that do share a few common traits. Things like notes in the song are really close to one another. When the song's a little faster. An upbeat song combined with an unexpected change in pitch or tempo catches your brain's attention, and that's why it sticks. Bup, 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 <laughs> to be sufficiently ordinary for you to really be able to form expectations about it and remember it, but also sufficiently kind of unusual. You've probably thought of a few, which begs the question, do we love them or hate them? People generally said that most experiences of earworms were kind of okay. Where I think the knee-jerk thought about earworms is that it's like this torturous kind of experience, which of course it can be. But often they're kind of okay for people. But if you do catch that unpleasant kind, here's how to get rid of them. Chewing gum. When you have a song stuck in your head, you're likely to also be moving your mouth, singing along to it. So chewing gum will disrupt that. Something else that helps? Getting engaged in a task that really requires a lot of attention. Like talking to a friend or having a meal. Because it seems to be easier to be subject to an earworm episode if you're doing something really mindless and you're in a low attention state. For better or worse, that's your deep dive into the science behind sticky songs. There you go, see? There's yeah. a lot of them out there. There, there are. Now, okay, so I want to hear from you, what song is torture to you and you just Baby don't shark, like it? Baby I Shark, I can't stand it. I thought of that one instantly. Is there one that you like? Most that of is... them I think I, I like, I don't mind. Even though it gets stuck in your head, yeah. like, like what? Like YMCA, okay, they YMCA. played that one, it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I'll start. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I, I could totally yeah. see that. What about you? Uh, you know, I was thinking of the when we were talking, Call Me Maybe came up. Mm -hmm. I think that's a cute song. I actually like it. It's a nice song, way overplayed, and it does get stuck in my head, but I like it. Torch, you know what? Uh, my, my family liked Broadway tunes a lot, and almost every Broadway play has one super annoying song, like Shapoopy from Music Man. No. Shapoopy, or uh, there's this in in no that's yeah that's a music band and I think this other one's from music man, music man too. Pick a little, talk a little. Okay. Is that a music band? Anyway, I don't know, oh. but you've got me on Shapoopy. There, 